I just made $38.40 playing this game right here, Rise of Kingdoms. In this episode of Operation Survey Smash, I will show you proof of payment and how I made this money playing this popular mobile game. Stay tuned. Hey everybody, how you doing? My name is Jacob Bell. I am the CEO of Build Enterprises and today is Operation Survey Smash. Now, if you have been following this uh, online survey site experiment, you will notice that we are very far behind when it comes to posting the actual content. A lot of time gets involved with putting the blogs out there, filming the videos, doing all the numbers, uh, making sure everything's on the up and up and legitimate. So um, it is going to be a little bit far behind, but I am still tracking this in real life. I'm still tracking this day to day to day. Um, and again, uh, you see on the screen, there is the, the spreadsheet. Uh, that is showing day number 10 and what we're looking at now because of the posting schedule being so crazy. Um, I'm kind of going to be doing this a little bit different from now on. Um, so the videos and the stuff that I film are not going to be reflected on the actual day number 10. There's just going to be certain things I'm going to be pointing out and I'll be keeping a track record of what I've made that day, but I'm not going to break it down to each individual thing and, and you know, the dollars and cents here and so on and so forth. It's just too time consuming and it throws a lot of people off. And quite honestly, because of pending earnings and everything else, some people are getting confused and they don't really know how the numbers are working. So I'll still show the spreadsheet. I still link everything and show proof of payment and the whole nine yards, but I'm not going to be digging as deep into it. And I think honestly, if, um, if you've been following, you're probably really not going to notice on your end, but I have to alleviate some time, uh, because it's just getting very, very time intensive, right? So if you like playing mobile games, I'll, I'll link all the different video links to the videos and link to the blog posts, uh, because the online, uh, mobile games, um, is how I've been making a good amount of this money. There's a lot of promos for these games. Uh, the mobile, uh, the mobile app and mobile, uh, game community is, um, very, very competitive. So they're trying to bring in as many users as they can. Now, there's a cravat to this. So in Rise of Kingdoms, which is, uh, what this, the game that this video is based on in the offer, and I'll show you all that here in a second. Um, a lot of these game, mobile games are pay to win or pay to play. Um, excuse me, not pay to play, pay to win. So what they try to do is they they make these goals that you have to hit in these games. You have to put a little bit of time into these games and they give you goals and a time limit. Like, for example, I had to reach level 17 on Rise of Kingdoms to qualify for this bonus that was paid out immediately to me to my Swagbucks account. So they only gave me 21 days to do this. Now you could get impatient or not put time into it. And then you can buy your way into getting level 17 because that's how they kind of gear it. But again, excuse me, but again, this is very, very attainable for free. I spent 99 cents on this game because I, I, there was this offer to get like this legendary commander hero thing. And I paid 99 cents and I got nearly $40 out of it. So to me, that's a really, really good return on investment. Um, I was playing it at night, uh, playing it kind of throughout the day. Um, if you're used to, uh, these type of mobile games, you know, the civilization building and warring and getting resources and stuff like that. Um, it really wasn't very hard to do. I think I did it. Um, I'd have to check, but I think it took me about around six days to get to level 17. Didn't pay for anything besides that hero in the very beginning. Um, so it's really, again, if you play games like this, if you like this kind of genre of game, um, you you can make a quick 40 bucks out of it. Um, and again, you're not going to be making money playing games anyway, so it's kind of a cool opportunity. And there's a ton of other games that you can do this with, but I'm just going to go ahead and show you. So first of all, on the spreadsheet here, day number 10, uh, in total on Operation Survey Smash, I've made $175. Um, and again, when you see the daily gains here that I'm circling right now, you'll see a highlighted cruiser on your end. Um, all of these are what actually deposited into the account. And then I have other pending earnings and, and other bonuses off the side that have not been put into the calculation yet. Um, so there's, there, there's zero doubt I'm going to attain $500 or more. Um, and a lot of these days, you're going to see a couple of days, especially here recently. I took, I took about around five days off from doing this. So I'm not really even doing this for 30 days. I mean, really, there's only going to be 
about what 25 days of work I'm going to put into this. And I'm averaging much less than an hour doing this. So uh, my hourly rate is actually really, really, really good. Um, now, I didn't count the hours that this bonus or this payout took playing the game because I'm playing a game right so i mean obviously if i was going to average what 40 bucks was going to cut or um, excuse me what my hourly rate was to make that 40 bucks playing a game um it's not going to be very much at all but i'm i'm playing a game on my free time i was i was interested in the game anyways so i more than likely was going to play the game regardless of getting any kind of reward however i got a, i got money from playing the game so uh, again i mean it, it's 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 I don't, I, I just, I don't calculate that as work, right? I mean, I, I play games during my downtime because that's how I relax. That's how I disconnect from things and I can kind of cool down from working 16 hours a day. So again, I mean, if you're going to look at this and go, well, I'm only making X amount of time or X amount of dollars per hour while playing this game, um, you're, you'll be much more successful getting a part-time job than trying to, you know, average everything down to an hourly rate while playing a game. Playing a game is something that you do on your free time for fun, right? So, I mean, again, you can look at it, you know, in, in a negative light and say, oh, I'm not getting compensated for my time. I mean, then don't do it because if you don't enjoy doing it, that's why you play a game. I'm just offering you a way to get rewarded from playing a game. And if you like that genre, you like that niche of game, I mean, make money off of it. I mean, why not, right? Like, look at it in, in a positive light, not a negative, pessimistic crap light and, and try to disprove things because you're that kind of person. So anyways... And that's my numbers, right? That's what we're looking at numbers wise. Now, proof of payment, right? So Rise of Kingdoms, um, I will actually, um, I will link to Swagbucks for you to sign up. It's a very comprehensive website. There's a lot of different ways to make money using Swagbucks. Um, and then you have to go through their, uh, one of their partners, uh, Revenue Universe, um, which I've gotten a lot of really successful offers off of. Matter of fact, I got paid to play, um, uh, what was it? That new D uh, Dungeon and Dragons game. Um, yeah, I forgot what it's called, but I made like five and a half bucks playing that. It, it, it was just in a night and, and I made it, but, um, but I'll go ahead and link all that to you. But so anyway, so this is the stats. I'm going to go ahead and jump over to swag bucks here. So I've made um, a few hundred dollars off swag bucks during this experiment. Um, right here is some of the shopping that I've done uh, and some of the free offers that I've signed up for that I've gotten. Matter of fact, I was paid 30 bucks to eat at DoorDash. Um, and, or excuse me, have DoorDash delivered here. So I had basically free dinner. I was going to order out anyways. So I just, you know, made that food free. I mean, I think the food was like 36 bucks or something. So I spent six bucks on dinner. I got 30 bucks back. So to me, I was going to spend that money anyways to, so for me, getting this money back, that's a gain for me because I was already going to be spending the money. Um, and then Publishers Clearinghouse, uh, Amazon, this was a, a an Amazon order that I did, um, and then College Backer was something I set up for my kid. Um, and then this NAV, I actually did a video on NAV, which was checking my personal credit and my corporate credit, uh, and then an eBay order. But looking at just the activity, and that's and that's 62 bucks that I made from buying stuff and doing stuff I was already going to do. Um, but this right here is 82 bucks, um, well, a little over 82 bucks um, from things that I've accomplished on the site. So this right here was what I made from Rise of Kingdoms level 17 i made 38 dollars and 40 cents now every swag buck is a penny so 3840 pennies is 38 dollars and 40 cents this was obtained by reaching level number 17 within 21 days of install on new accounts this has to be new accounts so to get this offer, you are going to sign up for Swagbucks in the link provided in the description of this video. Once you sign up for Swagbucks, you're going to go to Discover. Now, I'm on a desktop. Discover, I believe, is going to be on the lower bar um, of your mobile device if you're doing mobile, right? I'm just going to come up, uh, join, and, and there's there's just so many things that you can do to make money off of this stuff, especially if you're incorporating it into things that you do regularly anyways. Um, it's a really, really cool thing. So we're going to go to Discover here, and then we are, or matter of fact, er, well, okay, there's actually two offers. So let's go back and let's take a look at one of these offers. Because I did it through Revenue Universe. There's, they also offer the same offer in other ways. <laughs> so 
For example, right here on their main page, um, they are showing Rise of Kingdoms for Android for $35, right? So you can either click on this, you're, you're going to go to a link to install, right? So you're going to click this, it's going to say, you know, complete this offer. Um, this particular offers must upgrade your city hall to at least level 18 within 20 days. So this is a different offer than the offer that I did. Um, if that other offer is not available, it looks like this is what the offer is now. So 35 bucks to uh, upgrade your city hall to at least level 18 within 20 days. Um, you're going to put in your email, send the link, open it up in your phone, download it, boom, the offer starts. And then that's what you need to do, upgrade your city hall to at least level uh, 18. However, again, I did mine through Revenue Universe, which is a partner with Swagbucks. So let's see if that offer is still available. So we're going to go to Revenue Universe. Um, this is one of the Revenue Universe links. So we're going to go ahead and click on this and see if it's here. Didn't think they'd change the offer. So I guess I should have researched this before I made this video. But we're going to we're going to take a look here. I've got World Winner, Clio. Okay, Neverwinter was the game that I played. Dungeon Dragons Neverwinter and made five and a half bucks off of that. So, bear with me guys on this. I, I guess I really should have researched this before I did this video, but I'm already uh, 11 minutes in, so uh, here we go. Um, well, I guess I can kind of fast forward this on the on the video to help everybody out. But, well, I don't see it there. interesting okay they changed the offer to level 18 so i mean it's still obtainable all right so i'm gonna probably have to do some corrections on this video but it looks like the offer is going to be for $35 for level number 18 now. Looks like they changed the offer. Again, I'm on 17. I can make 18. No big deal um, if I was to try to complete this offer. But again, they change offers all the time. And if you come in, you check Revenue Universe, or if you just decide to do the $35 um, right now through Swagbucks, you, you can't. Um, so uh, hopefully this in, this video gave you some pretty good insight and some good information. And uh, let me know what you guys think. Sorry it kind of fell apart toward the end. Um, however, you know the 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 offers change. I mean things change. So um, you still can make thirty five bucks by getting to level eighteen now instead of seventeen. So again, it's it's still there. It's still available. Uh, go out there if you like these kind of games. Download it. Make your money. Um, let me know what you think in the in the comments below, and uh, and we will go from there. So uh, appreciate it, guys. Uh, go out there, and make your money, monetize things that you do normally. That is the way to make more money coming in. Um, I've made several hundreds of dollars doing this experiment. Uh, matter of fact, I'm I'm in the mid three hundreds right now um, doing this. Uh, it's been more successful than I thought it would be. And uh, and it's been a great experience. So anyways, come over here, download Rise of Kingdoms for Android and make your money. And I believe they have an Apple version, too. So don't feel left out there, Apple fans. So again, I will talk to you later. Thank you for joining me and I'll see you next video.